Step 1. Stop, assess, and ensure safety. Step 2. Call the ambulance at 995 if someone is seriously injured, or 1777 for non-emergency cases. Step 3. Do not move any of the vehicles involved, especially if someone was killed or seriously injured. If it's only a minor accident, only move after you've taken photos of the scene. Step 4. Exchange contact details. Get the other party's full name, NRIC or FIN number, phone number, home address and details of insurer or insurance company. Step 5. Take photos of the accident scene. Include wide-angle shots of the entire scene, the surrounding area and the damage on each car with their license plate numbers. Remember to jot down important details, such as the date, time and exact location of the accident, as well as the weather and road conditions. Step 6. If it's a minor accident, move your vehicle to a safer location, like the side of the road or a parking lot. If you're as unable to move, contact your insurance provider to recommend an authorized car towing service. Step 7. Decide on a private settlement or an insurance claim. If there is minimal to no damage to your vehicle, and more importantly no injuries to both parties, you may consider a private settlement. Step 8. If you would like to make an insurance claim for damages to your vehicle, you will need to allow the other party to inspect the damage before you repair your car. Step 9. Submit your claim to your insurance provider to seek a claim against the other party's insurer. If you're at fault in the accident, submitting an insurance claim will increase your insurance premiums during your next renewal period. If you're not, your premium will remain the same, 